Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you see a figure, and we are told to solve the problem associated to this figure. And the question says that in third angle projection, draw the following views Roman figure one, front elevation in direction of the arrow T, Roman figure two. End view in the direction X, Roman figure 3, um, plan as projected from I above, right? So we are looking our front elevation to be from this direction here. That again, then our side X is from here. Then the plan is coming from up here. Now, the first thing you're doing here, the word autographic projection, is for you to draw your autographic axis. That means you draw your y, x, and what? Z axis. So if I place it this way and I draw my vertical line in this manner, I draw my vertical line in this manner here. Vertical line. And I draw the horizontal line in this manner, like this. All together and make it straight. Can you see that? So, this is where they are meeting. Then you measure five millimeter to the left, five millimeter to the right. You measure five millimeter upward and five millimeter downward, right? And you draw your line to move. across those points and also here too hope you can see that I know your measurement to start from this edge Is that again so let's proceed and see how it goes so we're looking our arrow is pointing in this direction now, if you look closely, I have created a plane, right? A plane this way that's at different sides. We are looking from here, and we are going to cast the image like putting a mirror in front of a given figure. What will be the reflection of this figure, right? Looking from here, what will be the reflection from this figure? Looking from here, what will be the reflection looking from the top, right? So let's see what will happen. If you look from here, what will you see? Let's see what we are going to see. Now, oh, this is what we have, looking at it from the side. You're going to see all the shapes you see here from this side. You can't see here, you can't see the top. Now, in some diagrams, you might not see this placed here. How good now? You might not see this figure placed here. But if it's placed in your own, right? It means that you are going to draw an hidden line there. But if it's not placed in your own diagram, don't bother to do what I am about to do now. Can you see that? I show that there's a true going in. You can't see it from here. So the S3 is telling us that there's something in between the cigar. How good? So if it's not in yours, you don't have to do this. So this is an explanation of this. Looking at it, you see this shape here, which is the shape here, right? So this is what you're going to draw here. And the question says in third angle projection, meaning that this given figure here will be placed at the third quadrant. Are we good? If it's not in third, third projection, third angle projection, you start from here. So let me start from this point here. So what you do is you get the entire height. The entire height is 60. You measure your 60 from the diagram from your meter rule and you place it here and you mark 60. Then the entire length is 76, right? We have 76, so you measure 76 from here as soon your diagram that is from here to here, right? And I'll place it here and I'll mark that again. Then I am going to project this to this distance here and I'll bring this down to this distance here all together. So in doing that, we know very well that the height is 
from here to here let me just show you the height is from here to here let me take it backward a little bit so i'll bring it down i brought out this plane that we have here out there so in doing that the next thing is the height from here to here which is given from here to here and that is given to be what um that is 20 20 right so i'll place it here and i'll mark 20. here also is 20. then the thickness from here to here is 10. if i measure 10 on my meter rule i'll mark 10 here and also from here i'll mark 10 here can you see that so i can do from here to gain from this point to this point to this point and to this point to this point can you see that and the height right what i'll do again i'll get the center of the figure center of 76 or you just join the two diagonals of this rectangle here to give you the center that's the center there so i'll just project this this way so i'll now measure a height of 15 where these two line meet here to here the height of 15 so i'll measure 15 upward in this fashion so from 0 to 15 which i will now connect this to it here and connect this to this here hope you can see that so still from this center with this vertical line i drew here i can from the center there i'll measure nine to both sides because the thickness from here to here is 18 meaning half of it is nine so i'll measure nine on my meter rule zero to nine millimeter 0 0.9 so i'll have um place it here i'll mark here and i'll also mark here can you see that the next one is 40 from here to here is 40. I'll place in the center i'll measure 20 on my meter rule and i'll place it here i'll mark 20 and i'll also what mark 20. this is where i am going to connect this to this also connect this to this also connect this to this also connect this to this then i'll bring here down which is going 10 millimeter downward i'm going to measure 10 millimeter downward from 0 to 10 from 0 to 10 and i'll take this this way this come down this go here and this come down right so that's what we have there right so if your diagram like i said again have this figure then you can do the hidden line but if you don't have you don't bother just like i explained so let me just do that and see how that goes so i'm going to measure from where to the center of where this line is is 32 so I'll measure 32 my meter rule, right? And I'll come here and I'll mark that will be the center of that figure this way, right? And if I take it in this way, then the next one is on that line, I'll now measure 22, half of the figure. And this is 22 here. That's it, 22. Um, you just measure. 32 is okay, then we have 6 up, 6 down, that is 12. That is the thickness and the width of that figure. So I'll measure 6 up, 6 down. Then I'll take this this way. And 
now come here to take it this way. Hope you can see that. Now we've successfully done that. But the next thing is looking at it says the next thing is our end view. Am I correct? We should draw the um end view in the direction of x this side here so if you are looking at this side what will you see now let us see what we are going to see by looking at this side here we have successfully drawn that if this figure is not here don't bother to draw anything here but if you have this figure then you put this in this place here now let's assume this figure is not there this is what you are going to see when you're looking from the side. This is what we have. When you look from here, you'll be seeing this here, this shape here, which is from here to here. Now this heading line is this side you cannot see looking from here. So since you cannot see it, you should have there's something in between which is going through the figure and there's a heading line, there's a space in between. Now you see this top, you see here, this, 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 and this are on the same line. That's why we're using the straight line. Then this groove here is this hidden line, showing that there's a groove in between this figure here. Then we have this shape here, which is this, right? That is when you're looking at from this side here. So this is what you're going to place at this part here. All together, so this is what you're going to draw. I'm using this to explain to you. Remember, if your figure doesn't have this, don't bother with this. So let's proceed. Now I will just come here, project this this way. Project, then you measure the thickness, which is 44. Measure it from the meter rule, 44. Then I'll come here, I'll mark 44. I can take it up this way, I'll take it up. Just take it up. So we stop in here. Now the next thing is we we'll to draw this line, and this line is on the same level as this, right? So this is what I will use, and I'll just take it this way. I'll take it here too. So the figure is connected; they are all connected together. Right then. This hidden line you see here, this part here, is this here. Right? Then this, you see, I told you your figure doesn't have it, don't bother, but I'm coming back, I'm coming back there. So this, you see, will be hidden. Because you cannot see this. Then this, close it up. So this is what you have to draw if this figure is not there. But if this figure is there, you just draw this out this you draw front line first you draw that front line first we're getting the center of this point here which will be gotten from the um diagonal of this figure or you just measure 22 from here from 0 to 22 from that 22 you will now measure 6 to the right and six to the left and take it down this way take it down this way now what we have there so looking from the side what about when you are now looking at from the top what are we going to see looking at from the top let's see what we'll see so this is what we have here looking at from this part you can see all this you see here is all this part because it's inclined it looks shorter so looking at an inclined angle from a distance will be in form of a straight line. This is from here to here, and this is from here to here. This side you see is the side, this side you see is the side, and the in now one here is here. 
Now this heading line you are seeing here is this here. So you cannot see what's the corner that is in between this figure. So we are using heading line. So there's something going through. Now if this figure was not here, this shape was not here, this is what your answer will look like. But since we have this, that so that's what would be there. So this is what you'll be seeing. These two hidden lines is just to go here. But if it's not there, don't bother with this. Now let's now place it. So this is the third angle projection. It says the question says we should draw projecting from this. That's what the question says. Draw from projecting from where? From this. It says the plan has a projected the plan projected from the eye above. And this is eye above here. That is the elevation. So I'll just take my 45 degree. Place it this way. Right and just draw from here outward. So then I'll project here. Just draw from here outward. So where it meets this inclined line here, I will project it this way. So this is what we have here from this point, taking it from this point, taking it. Stop in there. Stop in here. So all those parts here, here, project it up. Here too. Here also. Here also. Can you see that? It will automatically come out on its own. So if this figure was not there, this figure, this is what we'll be having. Then the hidden line, also. In between, can you see that? But since the figure is giving is there, so I'll just have to project it. So if I use this, this will just give you give me the figure straight ahead. So I'll just project them there. Once you can do your figure very well, you can draw your elevation very well. The rest of the figure will come out on their own using your line your projection line so this is what we have here right so if you able to choose this figure you can see using what they call autographic projection if you want to draw the isometric projection of this figure right you can click on this link at the top right corner of the screen so again so and don't forget also to um putting your dimension in it attracts mark right so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching